for true back-end developers, creativity comes in the form of a beautiful API or lightning-fast DB structure. When you revel in spending the whole day in a terminal window, there's nothing worse than requests like these, trying to pull you away from your beloved back-end. I'm Tom, and here are three ways for back-end developers to stay within their natural habitat and avoid the front end at any cost. Don't put yourself in the risky position of being asked to do front-end work in the first place. If you've applied to jobs with any front-end related keywords in the description, you're shooting yourself in the foot. In particular, watch out for full stack developer or the dreaded front-end exposure. Stay clear of these kind of job adverts or you'll risk awkward interview situations like this. Yeah, an interface in Java is an abstract type used to specify behavior that classes must implement. Describe an interface. This interview is a walk in the park. Okay, thanks Tom. So now we've covered back-end development, it's time for the second part of the interview. Second part? Correct. The section on front-end development. You didn't mention front-end in the job advert at all. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Do you have much experience on the front end? Did you see it on my CV? I'll summarize my front end experience to you in two words, eat this. Next option, turn your dislike of the front end into a gift for your colleagues, also known as getting someone else to do the work. The ultimate win-win situation. Hey Ben, how was your weekend? Yeah, not bad, just had a quiet one really with the wife and kids. We watched an amazing documentary about elephants and how they wash themselves in the river. So funny. This painful chit chat so is required to earn goodwill with your colleague. For goodness sake though, don't let it last more than two minutes. Anyway, I was wondering how you're getting on with that build story. Oh, the one to run our integration tests with a separate Gradle task. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, I'm still trying to wrap my head around Gradle, to be honest. It's taking a bit longer than I expected. Did you check out the Gradle Hero course yet? No, I didn't get round to that yet. I'll tell you what, I'll pick up the integration test story as it's high priority. That leaves you to dive into the Gradle fundamentals. Seriously though, take the course, it'll be a massive help. Oh, thanks, Tom. You're welcome. Oh, by the way, there's this tiny front-end story do you mind polishing it off with those ninja front-end skills of yours? Uh, okay, but... Thanks, what's the story number TG282, bye! Like I said, a win-win situation. Then, sit back and bathe in more glorious back-end work. If all else fails, this last option makes sure you'll never get asked to work on the front-end again. There's one caveat though, take a deep breath. You will have to write some front-end code once but only once, I promise. It's as simple as just showcasing your front-end skills or lack thereof. So next time you get a request like this, open up Notepad and start coding up your HTML page like it's 1999. This isn't a time to hold back. Let your back-end developer creativity splurge all over that web page. Remember not to get too into it though. You are a back-end developer after all. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Finally, once you showcase your results, you'll never be bothered again for front-end work. Not ever. At risk of making myself unpopular, one alternative approach might be to actually embrace the front-end and get better at it. I know I've been putting this off long enough myself, so if you'd like to learn more about front-end technologies with this back-end dev right here on this channel, let me know in the comments what you'd like to learn about. Otherwise, you can check out this helpful video right here. And this is Tom signing off.